Good morning to Joe and Jill Motorcycle all over the interwebs. You're watching Nicked Uber Max, one of the playlists on the BMW Motorcycle Owners of America's YouTube channel. And welcome. I'm your host. My name's Wes. And today I'm going to show you how effective a GS911 diagnostic tool can be when you have an unknown issue with your motorcycle. This is a 2005 BMW R1200 GS. It has a 90,000 miles on it, 90,400 and change. And on my way home from the shop the other day, as I was riding, not using anything but the throttle and my balance, I got a red warning triangle on my dash and my brake failure red lights started to blink rapidly. Normally, with this generation of motorcycle, that would be an indication that the ABS unit has probably failed. Um, these are the, the servo brakes or whizzy brakes, as some people call them. And, uh, you know, they eventually fail. So uh, that's my big concern. But normally when that happens, you lose braking capacity because those brakes provide power to the, to the calipers. So that did not happen. I was still able to brake normally. So I'm hoping that it's something else, something minor, something cheap and easily fixed. So I'm gonna hook up the GS911 to the bike. I'm gonna plug it into my computer uh, cause I can never get the Wi-Fi function to work correctly, but that's neither here nor there. And I'm gonna read the codes and I'm gonna see what's up with the motorcycle. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride and uh, at the end, I'll tell you where you can get a GS911 for your very own. So as you can see, I've prepared my work area. I've got the key in the ignition. I'm going to need to turn that on to provide power to the GS911 and to wake up the computer. I've removed my right side saddlebag, more so that I can get in close. I didn't really need to do that. And I have located my diagnostic port which is right here. It just unclips and then you unscrew the lid to the counterclockwise, set the cap in a safe place, and then you can see all the pins. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my GS911. You can see it has the same end and don't worry, if you have a more modern motorcycle than 2005, you can get an adapter from the folks that sell the unit that will allow you to plug the GS911 in here and then plug this end into your motorcycle. You can also get a GS911 that has the OBD end on it if you only have new motorcycles. So you line up the pins. There we go. And you can see that, oh, you missed it. The green light blinked, trust me. So I'm gonna turn on the ignition. And if like me, you have trouble with the Wi-Fi part of the Wi-Fi, then you're gonna plug in the USB cable to both your GS911 and your computer. Now there's nothing particularly special about this computer other than it's supposed to be rugged. Oh, this application is more than, okay, so I need to update it. <clears throat> so it's a pretty straightforward interface. You do need to get used to it. No, I don't have Wi-Fi out here. So you tell it R series Scroll down, R1200 GS, 2004 to 2013. Wait for a second. Let's read fault codes in the anti-lock braking system. So it's gonna take a second here and work. Pressure in rear wheel circuit too high. The fault is not present now. 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clear the code. You heard the bike activate. Are you sure you wanna clear your codes? Yes. Give it a second to work. Now it says no fault codes found. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna start the bike and watch the dash. Which actually I'm gonna pull the camera out so we can go over to the dash in real time. <clears throat> so I'm in neutral. That's the normal brake failure light that comes on before the ABS engages. Now with the engine running, I'm going to go around to the other side of the motorcycle and press the brake pedal. This is one of my favorite things about motorcycles, my BMW especially. When the engine is running and it's in neutral, the rear wheel still spins when it's on the center stand. I just find that amusing. Now I can't quite reach the brake pedal from where I keep my bike in the shed. So I'm gonna hit it with a stick. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the, that's the servo activating. And I'm getting the same standard brake failure light. So before I cut back to the wrap up, as you can see, I'm inside the house. So this is after I tell you to like and comment and subscribe and all that. Um, because the software on my computer was over a year old, uh, I needed to update it. That also updates the firmware of the GS911 unit itself. And uh, the company that produces these, the software and the hardware, um, has to play catch up with BMW. So every time BMW releases a new generation of motorcycles, they have to uh, release a new version of the software. So I'll uh, cut to the screen here for a second and show you what I'm talking about. So now that I've updated it, the software, you can see that where before it started with R1200s, now it says R1250 over here. And if I was to go back and pull up the F series, you would see exactly what I expected, the F850s and 750s. Now it doesn't have, let's see, let's see if it's updated for the newest S bikes. And it does not look like it is. It's uh, the S900 XR is not in here. So clearly they're gonna to have to catch up a little bit more and release another update. I don't know how often they release updates, but uh, you can see all the other things and it's still got from when uh, BMW owned Husqvarna. There are a number of places now that you can buy a GS911. It used to be only from the Beamer shop out in California, but now I know that uh, in addition to the Beamer shop, at least one other retailer called Twisted Throttle sells them, you've probably heard of Twisted Throttle, especially if you ride an adventure bike, um, whether it's a BMW or not. At any rate, um, the GS911 is a, is a great tool, and I recommend that if you work on your own motorcycles with regularity and you ride BMWs, that you own one. There are other options out there that are based on apps and uh, what I consider to be cheap imitations. If those work for you, great. I don't trust them. I trust the GS911 all day long and twice on Sunday. So uh, spend your money how you want to, but if you're looking for a recommendation, I recommend the GS911. That seems like it was probably anticlimactic. The error was not present at the time that I started the motorcycle. We'll see what happens when I start to go riding which I'm not gonna to do today because it's, it's, uh, it's raining and I just don't feel like getting all geared up just to go out and maybe get another error. So what'll happen is next time I ride my bike, I'll see if I get the same error, I'll put the GS911 on it again, see if it throws the same error, and then I'll have a place to start diagnosing the actual problem. That's the thing about the diagnostic tool is it only tells you what the error code is 
It doesn't really tell you what the problem is. That's where your experience, your personal experience, and your relationship with your favorite dealership or independent mechanic comes into play. You can go to them, tell them what the code was, get some pointers, get some direction, maybe even fix the whole problem on your own. Now it could just be that I haven't bled my brake system in a long time. I haven't replaced the fluid in over a year, so I may need to do that. There may be too much brake fluid in the rear master cylinder, which is why it's giving me that pressure too high code. Thank you for visiting. This is just a quick video. I'll follow it up with more once I figure out if the problem repeats and if the problem repeats, how to fix it. So I'm going to go call my tech. Well, it's Sunday, so I'm not going to call him till tomorrow. I'm going to go call my friend George, who works up at Gridlock, and you've seen him on uh, these videos before. I'm going to tell him what the error code was, and hopefully he'll be able to tell me where to look next. Thanks for coming to visit Nick Uber Max. This is the BMW Motorcycle Tech Channel playlist on the BMW MOA YouTube channel. Click like if you liked it, comment, subscribe, etc. Come back, watch often, and thanks for being a member. If you're not a member, sign up, and then thanks for being a member. See you out there somewhere on the road, or off it, ride safe.